Yeah, my name is Larry Eisenberg. Uh, I'm one of the co-artistic directors of the group Rep, and I'm directing The Chinese Wall by Max Frisch. My name is Todd Andrew Ball. I'm uh, the assistant director for the show, and I'm also in it playing the role of Da Hing Yen. The Chinese Wall is a strange play. It's a, it's a wonderful play. It's an old play. It was written in 1946 by Max Frisch, and essentially it was uh, an anti-fascist play. Uh, it tells the story of Qin Zhi Wang Di, the emperor of China in the year 220 BC, who builds this huge wall, this great wall, so that he can keep the barbarians and the rapists and the, the, uh, the undesirable elements from polluting the culture of China. It's not just one period, there are characters from all sorts of um, eras, from like Napoleon to Cleopatra to our contemporary, who is basically now, um, who have um, come to this place to, um, celebrate, to, to celebrate the wall. The wall. But the yeah. contemporary is like, you can't celebrate this, this is not the right thing to do at this time, it's not going to help you and you're just going to create more problems with it than you are going to create. Uh, solutions and uh, eventually leading to a potential end of the world um, is what the kind of the concern is for the contemporary. What we're attempting to do is show a group of actors dealing with the current government in America and poking fun out of it. The play is a farce. It's 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 it's, it's funny, except and our government is funny. It's foolish. It's kind of ridiculous, but I think it's it, it's. It's also dangerous, and, and I think that's one of the things that the play kind of deals with, the ridiculousness of it, and then also the danger. And so, uh, you know, I guess we're doing it as a warning against that kind of uh, narrow-mindedness. Theater is an expressive art form, and we are using it to express ourselves. And, and, and you can't avoid politics, because politics is... is is just there with us. So we, we, we have done it, period, you know, we don't, we don't make a point of doing it, but, but it has cropped up on numerous occasions, and this is just one more uh, uh, occasion. I like the fact that it delivers a message without being something they have already don't know, something that, you know, maybe will make them laugh, like Saturday Night Live does, like all these other shows. They need something to kind of just escape and make sure everyone else knows that their, their thoughts are being heard as well. I think that's important. Yeah.